First thing to say is that the Mirai is an electric car, uh, but it's not an electric car in the common sense of the word that you'd understand, where it's a car powered by a big battery. Uh, it's fueled with hydrogen. Well, this is our fuel cell stack. Uh, in here, instead of the workings of a traditional engine, you have 330 different cells. Uh, and through those cells, hydrogen is combined with oxygen. The chemical reaction takes place uh, through this DC converter. The electricity is fed to the battery uh, and to the electric motors that power the wheels. Remembering, of course, that a fuel cell car is an electric car. The only emission is clean water. For Toyota, um, who have been uh, researching fuel cell technology since the early 90s, um, the passenger car for us, frankly, is the tip of the iceberg. Um, fuel cell applications will increasingly be seen uh, in public transport with people traveling on hydrogen-powered buses and trains, uh, but also in, in haulage. So trucks will be carrying goods powered by hydrogen fuel cells. Refueling infrastructure is the big issue when it comes to hydrogen cars. At the moment in the UK we have 11 or 12 fueling sites. Uh, to give you a comparison about how quickly other countries are adopting the technology, in Germany there are 90 at the moment. So uh, that is the next big thing that will dictate what happens with cars like Mirai. New Mirai can travel up to 400 miles on a, a full tank of hydrogen, in fact three tanks of hydrogen. And having three tanks is all part of the technological advancement with uh, the new Mirai. Uh, the tanks are able to be made 30% thinner and still retain the same structural integrity, which has allowed us to put three tanks in. Uh, the fuel cell stack is 50% lighter and far smaller than the old stack allowing it to sit under the bonnet rather than previously it sat underneath the car where you'd find a, a battery on a BEV. Um, all of those packaging enhancements have allowed the range of this car to increase from 300 miles with the old car to 400 miles on this car. Our first homologated uh, hydrogen car uh, was built in 2002, so we're well on the road to knowing how uh, these things work and how to make them work really, really well. Uh, but there needs to be some investigation further into how to make sure that all of the hydrogen that we're putting in our vehicles is green hydrogen. Uh, and by that, we would mean that hydrogen is created on site where you refuel your vehicle uh, using a sustainable energy tariff to electrolyze water to create the hydrogen. It goes back to that infrastructure question. Uh, will we be able to uh, increase that to enable uh, people across the UK to be able to drive fuel cell cars? I think we will. I think uh, with more and more buses uh, being fueled by hydrogen, we'll see more refueling stations in our cities across the UK. Uh, I think that will create something of a tipping point. <laughs>